One pleasant evening, Spiky was walking in a garden on a path between rows of flower beds. Suddenly, he started to sneeze. He wondered what was happening because he didn't feel sick at all. Can you guess why he was sneezing while walking past the flowers? Spiky is allergic to pollen. Oh dear, walking in a flower garden is definitely not a good idea. Pollen grains are small particles that are present in the anther sacs of flowers. They are used in pollination. Pollination is a process where pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma of a flower. Mrs. Coco, so how does this happen? Let's take a closer look. There are two types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. The transfer of pollen from the stamen to the stigma of the same flower is called self-pollination. In these types of self-pollinating flowers, for example those of peas and tomatoes, a pollinator is not required. A pollinator is an animal, like a bee, that carries pollen between flowers. When pollinators transfer pollen from the stamen of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same species, it is called cross-pollination. Cross-pollination requires pollinators such as honeybees. Honeybees are attracted to the flowers due to the bright colors of their petals. When the pollinator lands on a flower, the hair on the legs of a pollinator picks up pollen grains. As the bee travels to another flower, it leaves behind some of the pollens when it stops there. This gets collected by the stigma. As soon as the pollen falls on the stigma of a flower, it starts to travel through the style. The pollen grains form a pollen tube that leads them to the ovary. The pollen grain combines with the ovule inside the ovary and forms a seed. This process is called fertilization. This is why some flowers that require cross-pollination have bright colored petals, fragrance, and nectar so that they can attract animals like birds, bats, and bees for pollination. But what happens to flowers that don't have colorful petals? Or those that have no petals at all? Well, such flowers are pollinated by the wind. Wind pollination is not very efficient, but it still contributes to some cross-pollination. Grass, for example, is pollinated by the wind. Water also helps in pollination. Pollen grains can be carried by water currents to other aquatic plants. Most water lilies and lotus are pollinated by water. Did you know some flowers, such as the Rafflesia plant, produce the smell of rotting meat to attract flies for pollination? Let's summarize what we have learned today. The transfer of pollen grains from the stamen to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. The transfer of pollen from the stamen to the stigma of the same flower is called self-pollination. The transfer of pollen from the stamen of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same species is called cross-pollination. Cross-pollination needs agents for pollination such as animals, insects, wind or water.